Question more. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA and learn the truths that Americans need to know. In this episode, we will talk about mind control and brainwashing and how America has evolved since World War II to become the country that it is, living behind an invisible iron curtain. Back around World War II, things were more clear-cut. There was present evils in the world and dangers, and people in America wanted to face those challenges and make the world a better place. The war that engulfed the world was mainly in all the industrialized nations, and America rose to that challenge. Around that time, the way news was transmitted was mostly by radio or by films. Now, Hollywood arose to that need and made all kinds of movies depicting the war in different respects and showing the struggles of mankind to become free of tyranny and slavery. The total loss of lives were over 60 million people. That was over 2.5% of the world's population. The death count went a little different. The Soviet Union lost over 23 million people, followed by China, 15 million, Germany, about uh, 8 million people, Poland, about 5 million people. That was followed by 10 other nations that lost between a half a million people to 4 million people. That was the Dutch East Indies, Japan, India, Yugoslavia, French Indonesia, Romania, Hungary, France, the Philippines, and Italy. Both the United States and the United Kingdom lost less than a half a million people. What I'm trying to point out here is the real facts are a little bit different than what you see from Hollywood. Today in America, we have a severe financial problem and the government spends over 50% of your tax dollar on military spending and defense to run its military. According to the Constitution, the only reason for a military is to defend our country. And for our country to be involved in the rest of the world's affairs is a very costly matter. The greatest weapon used by our country is fear. They use this fear to keep us in wars that are not necessary. While America's economy collapses, the corporations involved with making armament and continuing war are profiting. The media grip on America is what is causing these wars to continue. There is no reason for most of these wars and most of these countries do not present any present threat at all. The present reason why America can be a terrorist target is because of our own actions. For every one soldier that dies, we kill over 200 civilians. So the people that are responsible are the media that distort the truth, the companies that produce the arms and influence the politicians to vote for wars. So about all the things you see politicians commonly argue about, health care, food stamps, welfare, all these things are a drop in the bucket compared to the amount of money that is spent on military and defense. And this is the rise of what we call media today and broadcasting and reporting of the news. It's based on what you can make the public believe, not what is the reality of the matter. The people that control the media are the people that make popular opinion possible. They make people generally believe just about anything they want them to believe. This is the rise of the invisible iron curtain, the gap between what is reality and what people generally believe in. Who controls the media that people see controls the minds of the public in general what their opinions are. In this case, it's controlled by the people that own the media companies. It's also controlled by the government who influences the media companies and other corporations that advertise and are responsible for programs and things that are created by the media corporations. 
The laws that are being presented to, by governments to control the flow of information and news on the internet all boils down to control. They are very much threatened by the fact that now people can communicate anywhere in the world, broadcast, and tell the world their opinions and the way that the news really is. After going to a computer convention, I learned about copyright laws on the internet and learned that there's not only copyrights, there are copy lefts. The idea of copy lefts is this. You want to create something you want shared and you want it shared freely with the rest of the world so that they could spread the news and information and not monetize what you've given the world. The vast amount of news, media, information, and even science and what people have invented is all locked up in copyrights. And you cannot use this information freely because it was never specified that you could freely use the information. It seems that the whole world is under the influences of the governments that control us all and that mankind has to communicate more with each other and to create uh, tools that people could use to survive in the world of tomorrow. In a court of law in America, there's always two sides to a story. There's a judge that sits up there, or a jury that sits up there, and looks at those two sides and says, oh, well, there's somebody that's broken the law. Okay, well, that's fine. But you can't determine that unless you listen to both sides. We've created a society of duality, a sports type of society where people are expected to sit on one team or the other. And we've created a Rome type atmosphere where one person wins and one person loses. Well, the fact of the matter is the people are becoming the losers here. Our freedoms are in jeopardy. Our liberty is in jeopardy. Laws are being passed to limit your liberties and your freedoms. This is not an American-like way. We are no longer an example to the world. We depend on two parties to present a candidate that is sponsored by large corporations that invest tons of money into these candidates to rule our country. In most parts of the world, when they have an election, there could be several candidates running for office. It doesn't have to be just two. It could be five. The popular vote wins, and that's the way it should be. There should be no political parties. There should only be candidates running on their issues alone. Our purpose for broadcasting is simple. We are here to report the news and opinions in a way that we see them to benefit people to help create solutions for mankind because it doesn't matter where you are in the world we were all born on the same planet and we're all citizens of the world first